when the Saints play the Bucks on Sunday, they're going to beat them 40 to 20. The Saints are going to hang 40 points on the Bucks. The Bucks will not have any answers for Drew Brees and that Saints high power scoring offense. Last week, the Saints did the unthinkable and they lost to the Falcons. But hey, it's all good. It's only one game. The Saints are still 7 and 2. We know that type of thing is a rare occurrence. It's not going to happen anymore in the future for them. It was just a very odd game. The Saints only scored 9 points last week against the Falcons. I believe it's the first time that Drew Brees and Sean Payton did not score a touchdown at home. That's the first time that has ever happened. But like I said, that's not going to happen again. The Saints are looking for revenge. They're going to avenge this loss from last week. Then they're going to take all the frustrations out on the box. They're going to beat them, like I said, 40 to 20. Drew Brees will have a wild throwing game. He's probably going to throw for over 300 yards and have about four touchdowns. Look for Alvin Kamara to run wild over that Bucks defense. Look for him to also cast some passes as well. He'll be causing fits for that Bucks defense. And then Taysom Hill as well. Because we know that Hill causes fits for any team that he plays against. So he may line up at quarterback, at wide receiver, at running back. He's going to be lining up all over the field. The Bucks will not know where he's coming from. They won't be able to key on him. And then look for Thomas to have a big game against the Bucks too. And in the Bucks, they recently let go of their cornerback, Hardgraves. So the Bucks let go of one of their star cornerbacks. I was surprised by that decision. So that's going to further weaken the Bucks secondary. So I expect Thomas to catch about 13, 14 balls for about 150 yards. He's going to be doing some serious work against that Bucks secondary. They do not have an answer for him. Cook will also be cooking the Bucks secondary as well. So look for the tight end to have a great game as well. And then the defense, we know what they're going to do. They're going to shut down Jameis Winston, Marcus Lattimore. He's going to be matching up against Evans probably. And when that happens, Evans will probably have about four catches for maybe about 50 yards, but that's about it. So he will take Evans out of the game. Eli Apple is going to do his thing. And we know, we know what's going to happen. Cam Jordan, he's going to sack Winston a few times. He'll have Winston flustered. Man, this game is just it's not going to look good for the Bucks. So if you're a Saints fan, definitely enjoy this win tomorrow. The Saints will keep on winning. We know that they're going to have to beat teams like the Bucks to further increase the chances of making it to the Super Bowl. And they will. They'll be dominating the NFC South this season and in the future as well. This team is prime and ready to make a strong playoff run. And they know that they have to dominate the NFC South and they got to dominate any other teams that they play. And they will. So like I said, tomorrow, the Bucks will put a football beat down on the Bucks. And the Bucks are going to be in for a long, hard day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So, you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.